Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. I hope you are doing amazing. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of September 2023. I'm going to pull a few A7 card spread to take a look at who you're dealing with around this time romantically, see if there's any up and coming hiccups along the way, that way you can either prepare for them or simply avoid them altogether. I will find out how this person feels about you this week, find out their true intentions with you, take a look at their behavior and actions towards you, and I'll also be diving deep into what's in your blind spot with this person. Meaning, what could negatively impact the connection with this person that maybe you have no idea is even an issue for the two of you in the first place. Whether you're doing something to hurt the relationship unbeknownst to yourself, or your person is, or something or someone external to the two of you seems to not want you guys to be together and is trying to pull you guys apart. Five of Cups. If that's the case, I will do my best to find out what it could be, why it could be, if it can be, followed by your advice, so let's get nosy. Hold on, I'm shutting. It's tickling me. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius today in their romantic love life for the week of September 2023? Who is Sagittarius connecting to, and can Sagittarius trust this person? If you hear any weird noises, all of a sudden my cat Merlin just spotted some sort of bug, and she's going freaking nuts on it. <laughs> She's like zigzagging back and forth. Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius in love? September 2023. Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my awesome Saggies. Okay, so the person you're connecting to around this time romantically, how do they feel about you right now? We have the lover's card. Could be connecting to a Gemini. Which is weird because my Gemini cat just went freaking, you know, crazy going back and forth chasing something a second ago. So you may have someone that's wanting to chase you, wanting to be with you, wanting to hold on to you. Okay, the lover's card comes in when someone feels a magnetic pull to somebody, sometimes unexplainable magnetic pull where you weren't even looking for somebody and you just you meet somebody and you just can't help but want to know more about that person and find out what the relationship is meant to teach you or to how it should show up in your life. I do feel like this person has a choice to make. I do see some extra hands here, so I don't know if there's a third party involved. I'm not going to jump to that just yet, but the lover's card is the, the card of choices and love though, okay? So what's their intentions with you this week, Sagittarius? The Three of Wands, their intentions is to plan something with you, to plan either a future with you, to plan a get together with you, to plan possibly a little vacation because I do see them packing up suitcases and there's a date marked on the calendar for the end of the month. So I don't know if you guys live at a distance and they're planning to visit you, but if that's not the case, I definitely sense that this person's anticipating something with you because the Three of Wands waits on that fourth wand. And the fourth wand is all about partnerships, relationships, marriage, moving in with somebody, things like that, okay? They might be making a choice to take your relationship to the next level. What's their behavior towards Sagittarius this week? Seven of Cups. So right now, their behavior is a little bit fuzzy. They might not be as clear with you. They might not be as direct. There's definitely a decision that they're planning to make um, around this time in regards to what the relationship with you is going to turn into. How do you feel about this person? The Four of Swords. With the Four of Swords being your feelings for this person, you may feel like the communication has slowed down between the two of you, whether by you or by your person. Something is feeling a little bit quiet on your end is what it's telling me. Maybe you're needing this time to really clear your head and ask yourself, do I feel the same feelings for this person? Do I want this person to be in my life? Is this person everything I could ever want in a romantic partnership? Okay. So what's the blind spot? What can negatively impact the connection this week? The High Priestess. Somebody being quiet can negatively impact this connection or someone being secretive or someone uh, remaining too private, too discreet about something going on in their life. Whether that be you or your person, because I am getting the sense that you guys may be um, acting a little bit quiet with each other right now because there's some confusion about a choice in love. So I, I need to clarify that. I need to know what the heck is being hidden. All right, because I'm nosy. Um, Usually when I see the moon or the high priestess in the blind spot, I definitely feel like there's something that I need to uncover. Okay, and this is where clarifying is gonna help me. What's your weekly outcome with this person, Sagittarius? 
the hanged man, major for Pisces. The hanged man is that energy of, okay, we're obviously going to pause the connection for a second to really ask ourselves what do we want from each other, to gain a different perspective, to gain a different point of view. So it almost feels like you both came to some sort of energetic agreement that you guys were going to be quiet with each other for a couple days while you figure out if this relationship is what you really, really want for the future or if you are meant to just go in a different direction. It's one of those, all right, we've been connecting for a little bit. We should know how we feel by, about now. Uh, we should know where we want to take this relationship by now is the feeling I'm getting inside. And I got that similar for somebody recently. Was it Cancer's reading or was it um, Cancer or Virgo? No, I don't remember. Some, I remember saying that to somebody where somebody was at a point in the relationship where they're like, all right, we've been dating for such and such weeks. We've been dating for such and such months. We should know if we see a future with each other by now. We should know how we feel about each other right now. What are we gonna do about our feelings for each other? Are we going to continue this and evolve the relationship? Or is this where it flatlines and this is all that we can learn from each other and this is all our growth and now it's time to part ways. You know, it's one of those energies. Do we stay or do we go? And I will find out by the end of this reading. Okay, I will find out. What's the overall energy for your connection with this person? The King of Cups, a whole lot of love. Strong water energy coming through all of a sudden. Strong water sign. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio does not have to be a water sign, but it's telling me that there's a lot of emotions running deep for somebody. Okay, the King of Cups when it's the overall energy, it's your energy and your person's combined to make the overall, which is telling me that there's a lot of deep love. Okay, incoming visitor. Um, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Gemini that's falling in love with you. All right, but that's also your sister sign. So you might have that in your rising. She just left. Okay, so let's clarify. King of Swords, King of Cups. You both may be in your masculine energies right now where you both wanna take charge, you both wanna take the lead. Oh wait, I forgot to get your advice. What's your advice? The strength card major for Leo. Your advice is to stay patient right now and to stay confident and be open and compassionate and communicate from your heart because Leo rules the heart. So definitely come from your um, your heart center in regards to what you want with this person. Try not to overthink it. Try not to overthink it. Um, I mean, the Four of Swords is the energy of getting out of one's head and letting letting your spirit guides talk to you for a bit. Letting your spirit guides talk to you for a bit. And that could be why the High Priestess is in the blind spot for what's negatively impacting the connection. Someone's not listening to what their higher self is trying to tell them to do in regards to this relationship. And when you're in hanged man mode, that's when you become enlightened. That's why the original Rider right Waite tarot deck of the hanged man card shows, you know, a yellow light underneath this person's head. You know, becoming enlightened. So let's dig in. How many majors do I have here? I got one, two, three, four. Wow, okay. All right, so let's start with your person's feelings for you right now. In regards to their feelings, they love you. And if this is someone too new to feel those love feelings for each other, they feel like they're definitely falling for you or feel very intense towards you. Why the lover's card for how this person feels about Sagittarius? Why the lover's card? I mean, the lover's card does come with its set of challenges. There's usually an age gap. There's usually a difference in beliefs. There's usually other people involved. A lot of triggers, a lot of room for growth. Why the lover's card? Five of cups. This person's sad in regards to you about something. They're sad. And then I'm seeing the seven of swords and I'm seeing the four of wands. They're feeling sad, they're feeling disappointed, they're feeling regret. This could be in, implying that you guys are currently not in communication right now and have taken a break with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords. But if you're not in no communication right now and you are actively talking to each other as we speak, this is also telling me that this person may be sad and disappointed about a loss. Like they have to make a choice to lose something in order to gain something. And the Seven of Swords is showing me someone sneaking around when someone's back is turned. So, I mean, if there is other people involved, it's looking like someone has to say goodbye to one situation to say hello to a new. But let me get another card off of that. Clarify this person's feelings. A choice to grieve. 
Someone's making a choice to suffer a loss. Someone feels like their choices let them, you know, get some consequences that they were not happy about. Clarify this person's feelings for Sagittarius this week. The Six of Swords and the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. This person is trying to play it safe with you right now because they're trying not to rock the boat with you. They're trying to get past a sticky situation. I'm strongly getting that some of you guys may have had an argument recently and this person is really wanting to like not push it and to resolve it. I'm strongly getting that some of you guys definitely had some sort of argument or someone blocked somebody <clears throat> and someone's feeling guilty for how they acted. And now all of a sudden my voice is like going in and out and that's the blocked throat chakra. So it's definitely telling me someone's not using their throat chakra around this time. Not speaking. Not speaking. And now there's my voice again. <laughs> it came back just after I said that. Um, so this person is definitely feeling protective over you, but they feel like they have to play it safe. They feel like they, they need to not like push any more buttons. It's like they feel like they're on thin ice with the situation right now, okay? Clarify Sagittarius' feelings for this person. Why the Four of Swords? I mean, it looks like the more I dig into the situation, this person wants to plan a future with you. There's some confusion surrounding it. And the more I dig into it, the reason why it's, there's some, some confusion is because you guys may be taking a break. Why the Four of Swords for how Sagittarius feels? The Queen of Wands, you find them very, very attractive, but you are acknowledging that there's something going on here where you guys are just at each other in a way that is not bringing forth a lot of love. You know, there might be someone else involved that's stirring up some, some jealousy or drama here. Um, sometimes the Queen of Wands shows up as the other woman. So I don't know if you are the other woman in a situation and you've been waiting on this person to make a choice, to let something go in order for you guys to be together. Um, if that's not the case, I'm definitely getting where you feel intense passion for this person, but that passion goes from love to anger really quickly based off of something that may have happened between the two of you. I'm, I'm definitely getting where you guys feel a very intense connection. And that's what I was picking up on with the Lover's card. The Lover's card is great, it's full of love, everyone's attracted to each other, but it also comes with a lot of, a lot of room for healing and, you know, triggers. You, you, you might trigger the heck out of each other. You both may be mirror images of each other, reflecting back the things that you want to both not look at within yourselves, you know? Something is triggering the both of you this week, it feels like, in regards to this relationship. You're standing firm on your, your two feet though, Sagittarius. You know your worth, you know how, um, you know your worth. <clears throat> and now my throat chakra is starting to act up again, which could be telling me that up until this point, you may have not expressed your true self to this person out of fear of what they might say. Maybe you were keeping the peace and holding back what you really wanted to say, not to you know disrupt things. And now you're like, you know what? I'm not holding back anymore. But the strength card shows me you taming something, you holding back, biting your teeth in regards to something, biting your tongue. Clarify this person's intentions with Sagittarius. I do see the, this person planning something. What are they planning? They're planning, they're waiting. Whoa, two of pentacles. They made up some sort of decision in regards to you. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune triggers change. The Wheel of Fortune comes in with um, monumental changes. It's connected to one's destiny. This person made a final decision. It's like they were going back and forth on this decision and now they've made their mind up and now they're anticipating something. Give me more. The Knight of Cups. They intend to express themselves to you. They want to express their feelings. Six of Cups and the Devil. Ooh, wow. <clears throat> they've been obsessing about some sort of past situation all week long is what it feels like. All week long, they have been obsessively thinking about recent events, Six of Cups, past events, past traumas, past relationships, things relating to childhood maybe. This person has been looking at their shadow side, it looks like. You've triggered them to look at their shadow side, Sagittarius. There's something about what went down between the two of you or what will go down between the two of you this week if it hasn't happened yet that triggered this person to look at something within them that they needed to heal and address. You both are going to trigger the heck out of each other. I'm strongly getting a Sagittarius that 
started this journey really attracted to this person but the more you get into this journey the more you discover that there's things about you that you want to focus on your path to healing something and I got that same message for Leo the other day where Leo started this journey wanting to know how their person felt about them but after a while it started becoming more hey I want to focus on myself I'm like I'm excited about this healing journey you know I've been there you know where you you get triggered into looking at your shadow side and it's uncomfortable but the more you start to heal things that you never knew you needed to heal then it becomes addictive to where you just want to heal everything and you just dig deeper you go down that rabbit hole and you just want to like work on yourself to the point where you you know can start like having a lot of growth so so a lot of you Sagittarians you're you're finding your voice you're finding your worth throughout this process of finding out what this person's up to I feel like this person is playing off as a catalyst in your life to trigger a lot of growth in yourself as a person I like it, it's beautiful. So what can negatively impact this connection for you and this person is the High Priestess. The Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups. What can negatively impact this connection is a possible missed opportunity if someone doesn't speak up. Now whatever is meant for you will always be there for you, but there will be delays. When one door shuts, another door will always open if someone's meant for you. If someone's not, not meant for you, uh, it's not going to work. You can't force it. Okay. So I definitely feel like there was a possible missed opportunity because someone didn't use their voice, someone didn't speak up, someone didn't share something. I went to pick up these cards and the, and the Six of Cups wanted to stay on my table. So what could be negatively impacting someone's connection this week is their past, someone's past. Whether a past situation between the two of you or this person's past individually without you or your past individually without them. I feel like, um, personally, I feel like it's telling me that what's negatively impacted in this connection is um, a lot of uh, a lot of suppressed trauma is coming to the surface the more you guys connect with each other and it's making somebody uncomfy but I do see you both facing your fears and dealing with it and that's why you both need to do it alone is what it feels like so for for a few days I feel like you just need alone time with with yourselves because the high priestess is an individual that's by herself the hanged man is by himself two people by themselves for a few days just to collect their bearings to be in their thoughts to connect with them their higher selves and figure out some stuff without any external input so this person's behavior towards you for the next several days is the seven of cups why the seven of cups seven of cups is fantasy seven of cups is options seven of cups is confusion feeling like something is a little bit murky not really knowing what to do King of Swords, Three of Wands. So I definitely feel like their intentions is actually something that they're planning to follow through with also with the Three of Wands. This person is trying to be logical and reasonable about something. Give me more on this person's behavior. Ace of Wands, Judgment. They're about to make a final judgment call in regards to the two of you. And it, it looks like this person wants to be in your life, Three of Cups. This person wants to be in your life because the Ace of Wands is a surge of motivation and energy and excitement and feeling like, yes, now I know what to do here. It's feeling relieved and wanting to celebrate something with you. You may be dealing with a Virgo and you're celebrating their birthday maybe. The Hanged Man is the potential weekly outcome. Let's clarify that. Now, if you're in recent no contact with anybody right now, which I do kind of feel, I will pull their hidden feelings for you at the end of the spread, which is in like a minute or two. Why the hanged man? The ten of wands and eight of cups. Someone here is trying to self-sacrifice their feelings for a situation to, to have access to the higher truth of what needs to be addressed, what needs to be eliminated, what needs to be removed from one's life in order to eliminate all burdens. Someone's willing to do the work and to walk away from things that are just not serving them anymore. And that's what I was telling you guys earlier. You guys are triggering the heck out of each other. You think you're, you're connecting with each other because spirit wants you guys to fall in love and be together. No, you're connecting with each other because you both are triggering the heck out of each other to release some past past stuff that has been packed up for a while this connection was supposed to just be a part of a healing journey ten of pentacles some of you might have a long-term future with this person built to last a lot of years and look 
empty boxes. Did I not just say you guys are meant to unpack? Unpack. So the reason why you and this person met each other, yes, to, to have love, that's beautiful, of course, but Spirit knew that you both would pull out that stuff that you both have kept in boxes all these years, whether it's past betrayals, past insecurities, stuff that happened to you as a kid that you packed up and never wanted to see again, you know, things that we need to heal and work on in order to evolve, you know? So it feels like you guys are passing a mission. You guys are passing the mission that you guys were signed up to, to participate in, in this, you know, experiment, <laughs> experiment. It does feel like an experiment where spirit brought you guys together to, to help you both heal on your own. Okay. It, it's definitely telling me that, um, you're going to walk away feeling amazing once this is all said and done. Whether you're with this person or not, you're going to feel lighter in your energy. You're going to feel more strong. You're going to feel more confident. You're going to feel, feel the weight of the world has been unpacked and removed from your energy. You know, it's, it's, yeah, you both working on your shadow. We all have a shadow side. Give me more. High Priestess in reverse. So I do feel like a secret will be coming out, someone's true intentions will be coming out, someone's words will be coming out, someone will no longer be silent about something, and it's going to bring some sort of balance in, in this situation with the temperance card, Major Arcana for Sagittarius, and rainbows come after storms. The moon, page of swords. Your advice, the strength card. Two of swords. Your advice is to um, not ignore something, not ignore something and hoping that it goes away. You're, you're meant to face something head on and they're wanting you to know if one door is shut, another door is opening. Six of Wands, you've got a lot of success heading towards you. You've got a lot of growth, you have a lot of success, you have a lot of um, things to look forward to in the weeks ahead, okay? I feel like you and this person, if you're meant to be together, you will be together for the rest of your lives with that Ten of Pentacles, but you've got to do the work. You've got to do the work that was assigned to the both of you in order for you guys to be together for a long term. For a long term. you got to do, you know, you got to heal what's triggering you. A lot of people do need to heal separated from their partner before they can become together, but not all of them come together though. So you could be connecting with a Gemini, a Scorpio, a Cancerian, a Pisces, another Sagittarius, a Leo, Aries, but it could be any zodiac sign, okay? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, Sagittarius, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. If this reading did not resonate, do check out your Sagittarius September 2023 Love Monthly. That's in my playlist for September. I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath. Is my camera's not focusing. Time passes, but my feelings don't change even though you no longer trust me with your heart. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. So that's for you. I'll check back with you in another couple of days. I will also link up my most recent All Signs reading I did yesterday. It'll be in the description box below. It's how your person feels about you for the next seven days. It's the All Signs reading. All right, love you Sagittarius. Take care.